one exam down. We have started this marathon and they are going to be down before I know it. <sighs> I've just come back to college now. I have just finished my exam. Let me get my bag. I'm going to be unpacking my stuff. So first exam was neuropractical. If you saw my last video, you will have seen that. I was preparing for that. It was my first exam. So I've only got two more neuro exams left. This water bottle, I was worried because it wasn't clear, but somebody else didn't have a clear one and they didn't say anything. So I assume this is gonna be fine. I don't have to buy a plastic water bottle, which is great. Don't need this folder anymore. Don't ever have to look at that stuff again. Yes, that feeling is great. My brother will have finished his chemistry exam as well. So how did I think the exam was? It was okay. I was talking to Sophie and Lucy when we walked back and I think I missed out one part of a question, which is stupid of me. Not like on a different page, but I just must have read something too quickly. It was only two marks apparently. So that's a bit annoying. Oh, why did I do that? My exam tomorrow is board MCQs. So for an hour and a half, I will be filling in, coloring in circles because it's multiple choice fun but it's an awful exam anyway gotta think of the positives here it's gonna be another one down and look what i just got in my pigeonhole amazing and ben and jerry's voucher that's just made me feel even better because i won another of the nus competitions the nus switch off campaign com competitions where you have to send in pictures of you like saving energy so i won a voucher so i can get another vegan tub of ben and jerry's which one should i try i think there's only three Let's shove this folder right to the bottom of the pile. And um, what do I need? This one is next. We're gonna go to the gym or go on a run or something. The weather is not that great. But I'm also gonna text mom to see, to tell her that it was okay-ish. I'm gonna take my hair out of this bun. I did this really quickly this morning and I usually don't like having pins and stuff in my head for a long time. I used to be able to keep pins and buns in my hair um all day when i was kind of younger but now i get headaches when i have my hair in a tight bun it's just because i normally will have my hair really loose it's really hot in my room it's really humid and close even though it's like rainy and miserable i feel like it could thunder and lightning and i feel like that was on the weather forecast at some point this week or next week Whoa, 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 whoa. A little snagget, I feel. One of these Outpro hazelnut dessert things. With banana, obviously. They're like a moussey thing. And revision is making me hungry, as usual. So we gotta eat snacks. Little chocolate kick to keep going with the revision. For tomorrow's exam the joyous mcq last exam is gonna need a big celebration what should i do comment down below if you're doing exams what are you doing when you finish your exams to celebrate if you're not doing exams you can comment down below what i should do to celebrate so in these videos i'm just gonna say you're gonna have to cope and deal with the messy hair and the messy top knots because when i'm doing revision the last thing on my mind is what my hair looks like. I just thought I'd let you know that you need to put up with my hair. So I've just been going through as much board stuff as I can, so path, because the MCQs ask the most specific questions ever. So all the details that you don't pay attention to in the notes, they will put questions on, guaranteed. So I've just been trying to like pick out the nitty gritty details and try and jam them into my brain. But there is like no space left in my brain right now so oh, it's tough going i made up a mnemonic because i could not for the life of me remember all the viruses that are like controlled with vaccines that are dead so that probably doesn't mean a lot to you it's not very important to you but i needed to remember the dead vaccines for the viruses so i made a mnemonic and i thought it was quite good so i'm going to tell you guys so, I think it's a mnemonic, one of those things where you make up a sequence or phrase. So it is, it's kind of random, but it works for me. So here it goes, it goes, Holly pours rice, Holly feels incredibly happy. It's 
quite a good one. It doesn't really make sense, but I didn't have like extra words. So Holly pulls rice, Holly feels incredibly happy. And I, do I know the viruses that go with that? Let's see, so Holly, HIV, hepatitis A virus, Holly pulls polio, the stalker vaccine. Holly pulls rice, that is a rabies. Holly is the next one, HBV, hepatitis B virus. Feels is F, fits and disease virus. Incredibly influenza virus. Happy is human papillomavirus. virus. Yes! in there somewhere so i am really looking forward to this exam tomorrow saturday exam i mean lectures are push but exams oh oh well and then i've got a day off on sunday thank goodness um but yeah as i said i'm really looking forward to this mcq exam i've got my flashcards last minute flashcards and then gonna be it there's a fly in my room oh my gosh daddy long legs out you go oh no it's on the outside another exam down yes Whew, just got back now it was an hour and a half again so my first two exams have both been an hour and a half and for this hour and a half i answered 75 part multiple choice questions and colored in square boxes which was fun enjoy the show Oh, mate, why am I always in such a rush? Do you want to tell them where you're going today? Oh, mate, I'm supposed to be going to London. To see what? To see chess. Not like the chess the game, just... The musical. <laughs> Without me. I'm running late as per. Have fun. See you in the musical. I'll be here revising. Enjoy your revision. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, honey. Bye, Felicia. <laughs> bye. Bye, bye, bye. <laughs> I'm ending it now. Yeah, yeah, you can end it. Bye. Bye. <laughs> so, oh, look at what we've got here. So, these are a load of essay plans, which I have been doing. My exams next week are all essay based. All of them are three hours and all of them involve writing four essays in three hours. I need to start tailoring my revision to focus on writing essays as opposed to like answering just multiple choice questions or practical work. So I thought I would share with you guys a bit of how I go about doing that and how I go about revising, using essay plans to revise and also how I kind of think about writing essays, especially in an exam. So the way I cram is I just like write things down from memory on a scrap piece of paper and I've put a video up about cramming and stuff like that. But the thing is, that's all great, but often I find that it's better when you're revising for essays to do that in the context of an essay question. So I will find past paper questions, past essay titles, and I will read the title and then under like a set amount of time, I will just scribble down everything that I know and it's a way of revising yes because i'm trying to remember the content but at the same time i'm trying to tailor it to the essay question and put things into context which is really important to practice if that essay title comes up then you've already had a plan in your head you've already been through that process of what you're going to talk about and what key points you're going to raise in that essay so what i will do as i said i just put my timer on which i normally do all the time i'll give myself like 25 minutes or something which is quite good because I don't have time to sit and write out the full essay it would a hurt my hand and it would just take too long so i do things in shorthand i scribble things down they're really messy essay plans like it's very messy but i give myself about 25 minutes it's like about half the time i'll have an exam and it's just me scribbling as much as i can in that time and afterwards after the time i tend to just go back to my notes and add anything in a different color that i maybe didn't remember or something that's quite important and that I should have put in that essay, for example. Regarding actually writing the essay, so my first piece of advice with writing essays, and obviously this is just coming from me as a science student, the way I write essays is probably very different to the way an arts student writes an essay, and I definitely know that. So this is just about how I write my biology essays because I am a bio -Netsky. This is applicable to any subject, is to answer the question, and it sounds really straightforward, but so many people fall into the mistake of seeing a word that they know in that title and just writing everything they know about that word instead of actually relating it back to the title. So 
I do this, yes, I am a culprit of this and I think everyone is and I think it's just so important to remind yourself that you have to answer that question. Everything that you write in that essay has to have a link to the title. At the end of each paragraph I try and think about how I would say in a sentence that that links to the title. How am I answering that question in that paragraph sort of thing. And secondly with writing essays I think it's good to plan before. Under exam conditions you don't have very long and I normally spend about one or two minutes planning and it's not really a plan because I want to just get into writing the essay but I will write down all the key points I want to try and incorporate into my essay and then I will kind of put them into some sort of order to structure it and then I will go straight into the essay. Structure is really important yes because it will determine how your essay reads. Often with science essays you can if you want to use subheadings and that can be really useful because you need to tell the reader what you're going to talk about in that paragraph and if you look at a textbook a textbook uses subheadings and they're not just a single word they're like a phrase that summarizes what that paragraph is going to be about and you can do that in your essays if you're a science student and I sometimes do that especially if the essay say has two parts if I don't use subheadings though I always try to make sure that I start the paragraph with like the key message for that paragraph or like outline what I'm going to talk about. It's what you do in English at like GCSE where you have like a topic sentence or whatever. Anyone who reads your essay should be able to understand it so you want to make it clear for them. Then also with essays I would say that you need to write things in as concise a way as possible so we don't want any waffle, we don't want any bum fluff, none of that. We just want to get straight to the point and write things in the minimum amount of words as possible because it's going to save you time and you need as much time as you can in an exam because you have like 45 minutes or something, not even that sometimes to write an essay which is not actually that long. So the amount of stuff that you're actually going to get down in that time is not as much as you would maybe do in a homework essay or if you just spoke what you would say in the essay you are limited by how fast you can write i find it so annoying when you have a time constraint because it's like i could write so much more about that but you have to therefore practice picking out the key points and focusing on the most important information and that is why doing plans and stuff is great because in 25 minutes you say put down everything that you think is most important in terms of like introductions and conclusions often in a science essay in general i will like in the introduction i always kind of try and start out by defining some of the key terms that are in the title then i always try and say explicitly in the type in the introduction what i want to talk about in that essay and the flow and that is where the plan is really important because i can be like i'm going to talk about this 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 and this and then just go straight into the essay make it broad your introduction and not very long then i will obviously move into writing the essay maybe using subheadings always starting my paragraphs with a topic sentence to say what i'm going to talk about then i will finish sentences with a phrase saying how it relates to the question so that the reader knows i'm actually answering the question and it's also really great in science essays to use diagrams i love drawing diagrams because it can summarize something so quickly it will save you writing so when you have a figure you can be like as shown in figure one i love doing that i think that diagrams are so important sometimes because they're just a great way to summarize information and show that you have paid attention to the diagrams that you've been shown in lectures or in class sort of thing. I always try to add in examples if I've mentioned a process I'll be like for example and often I find that when you're revising yes you can't learn all the examples that they may have given to you but if you remember one example and maybe remember one that's at the bottom of the list or one that's a bit more unusual to make your essay stand out and to make it different because if an examiner is reading hundreds of essays yes they're going to get bored so if you add can add something different like by adding a diagram or by adding an example that's a bit more unique it will make it stand out and the examiner might wake up you know then in the conclusion again like the introduction i've started it kind of broad and then i've talked about specific things in my essay at the end i generally try to broaden it out again and i will link the essay title and the things that i've talked about to broader concepts it's always a great to talk about what might happen in the future how things might revolutionize because you know science is so dynamic so you can be like oh eventually we might have a treatment for this disease or something or talk about a technique that could be used to investigate a process further i don't know i love to broaden it out again and think about the future um 
and also kind of summarize what I have established in the essay, what has been learned from writing the essay sort of thing in a different way to the introduction, which can be quite difficult sometimes to make your introduction and conclusion different. But I always try and save the things talking about the future for the conclusion, just put it at the end because it kind of like leaves it as an open book sort of thing. So yeah, that's the main things that I try and focus on when I'm writing essays. Obviously practice is key and as I said, doing the plans helps you to revise and helps you to think about what you would write in the exam. Um, also, I burnt my tongue, which is really annoying. And now it's really tingly, which is super annoying. I'm gonna get back to doing more essay plans now and doing more revision. That's me plan. Just as I said I was gonna go on a run, the sun kind of goes in. Now I'm hearing the wind. But we're gonna go before it starts to rain because that's what the UK will do. And yeah, I'm just gonna go on a little run. It's always good to get enough fresh air. I always feel that a day without fresh air is a day wasted. Like I love getting fresh air and I think it's so important to get fresh air just to clear your mind. I also got a paper cut on my thumb and that is a clear sign that you've been doing too much revision so I feel that it's a good time to go for a run. I haven't had a paper cut in so long. I forgot how small they are yet how painful they are and it's just like why? Look at this. I did a dark wash because otherwise I will run out of black socks and I can't have that next week when I've got exams. So today's been a really productive day. I've had an exam, I went to the shops, I've done revision, I've done washing, I went for a run, I've edited a video really quickly. So yeah, I feel really productive right now. So I'm gonna end this video because I'm gonna have a shower and just go to bed. So there's nothing really more interesting for this video, episode number two of my exam season diary. And yeah, I hope you found this useful me talking about how i write um essays just giving some general tips what i try to focus on how you can revise through writing essay plans which i think is so so effective um comment down below like this video and subscribe if you are new and you want to stick around and i hope you are looking forward to episode number three of this little series i've got going on bye